The final fungicide on oats is vitally important to keep the crop clean uh, from now till harvest. What we're trying to do with the final fungicide here is we're trying to build on the previous applications at T1 and T2 to keep diseases like mildew and crown rust uh, under control in the crop. The reason being that these diseases can move up onto the panicle here uh, and can affect both the yield and the quality of the of the grain at harvest time. So we're trying to protect the panicle here from both mildew and crown rust. When we're deciding what we want to use, we have to look at products that give us good control uh, on both crown rust and mildew because pretty much all the varieties that we have out there are susceptible to both mildew and crown rust, uh, some at varying, various, varying degrees. So we're using uh, generally a, a triazol, mostly a proteoconazole based, so the likes of proline, plus an STHI, um, uh, likes of likes what we get in the likes of Latis era. So those type of products, or the likes of Silex, uh, which is also quite good on, on uh, uh, both crown rust and, and mildew as well, but we'd add in maybe a bit of Midas for extra, extra control there as well. So we're looking at those type of products uh, to give us that level of control. So the timing that we're looking at, which is crucial for, for oats, is this timing here like what I have in my hand, which is growth stage 55, just as the heads are about halfway out uh, from the boot. So that's ideal, rather than waiting later on, which puts the, the, the heads at risk from, for later on. The other point that's worth noting on oats at this stage as well is we try to be as gentle on the crop as we possibly can from the point of view of stress. Work here in Oak Park or shows that um, where we put the crop under stress we affect both the quality and the yield of the panicle come harvest time. So in summary, the final fungicide on oats, we look at our target diseases which are uh, primarily crown rust uh, and mildew. We select fungicides that are going to give us good control of both of those diseases and we look at timing those uh, products at this stage here, growth stage 55, to give us the best control going, going coming up to harvest.